So what is an orphan page? An orphan page is a page with, without any links to it. It's called an orphan. Uh, why are they bad for SEO? Uh, <coughs> usually low rankings and traffic. Even if you have the best content, so you could have a perfectly crafted article by Jordan or Lucy or Flynn, and um, that, that article won't be indexed because it's an orphan page. Also, <clears throat> orphan pages can create crawl waste uh, low value orphan pages can steal crawl budget from higher priority pages. So we've all seen that with some bigger sites. So that's just a little example there of an orphan page out on itself. And there's all the other pages, they're all happy. <clears throat> How do orphan pages occur? So they can occur from pages left over from a previous site migration, uh, pages created by ad teams. Sometimes that's not really a priority, but sometimes like an ad team can go and spin up like 100 landing pages and they'll be orphaned. Usually you don't need to worry about those, but if they're legacy pages with content, they can get indexed. <clears throat> Usually errors with uh, generating sitemaps. Sometimes people might change CMSs or something like that and there'll be multiple sitemaps happening. Um, <coughs> high quality pages that are not linked in your website structure. <clears throat> Search engines usually find pages in two ways. The crawler follows a link from another page. The crawler finds a URL listed in your XML sitemap. <clears throat> All right, so I've got two examples of how to find orphan pages. First one is Screaming Frog. <clears throat> so in Screaming Frog, you can go configure, spider, and then you can add in the XML sitemaps for a website. So you just click crawl these sitemaps. So then you put in your different sitemap URLs. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is get figure API access and then you want to add in Google Search Console and Google Analytics API access to uh, Screaming Frog. <clears throat> then you'll see that they're both connected. It's always important to find the orphan pages in Google Analytics data because um, that's going to be one of the best places to find them. You also want to add in Google Search Console. The next thing you want to do is just click start crawl or click, click, click start, click crawl, etc. etc. <clears throat> the next thing you can do is when you click overview, you'll see a section here under um, analytics and it will say orphan URLs. So on this specific site, 4.3% of pages were orphan pages on the site. So it's a good little pickup. Another way you can find orphan uh, pages is using SEMrush. <clears throat> so in the site audit tool, you can go site audit issues. You've also got to connect up uh, Google Analytics API to SEMrush to get the pages to come from the analytics. <clears throat> SEMrush actually has an orphan pages section in their site audit. So this was for a site where we located 53 orphan pages. How to fix orphan pages? <clears throat> Add in links from high quality internal pages. Add links from a menu section of a website. If the content's no, no longer available, make sure to 404 or 410 it. And if it's a duplicate uh, piece of content to an existing page that already is on your website, 301 redirect it. That's a quick uh, little overview on orphan pages. Hope it was helpful. Does anyone have any questions?